Khan hinders the gender. Oh my god! How could Tony Khan say something bad about another company? How could he insult our corporate overlords? And how could he do it to such a wonderful, sweet man as Jinder? How, how could he do it? How could he do it? I have no idea. The internet he's has lost the, their minds. He's doing the thing he's been doing, where he just he just wants to create drama and then tweet about something that is happening on one of the shows. Here's the thing. Eric Bischoff challenged a man to a fight. Vince McMahon slapped reporters. Paul Heyman, <laughs> just go watch any Paul Heyman interview. H have we become so soft or is it because we worship corporations so much? I don't understand. Like, to me, okay, Tony Khan talked a little smack about gender. Oh no, his feelings might get hurt. Oh no, there was a little smack talk me and haven't had. I don't understand. Are wrestling fans the most sensitive? I don't get it. Like, I don't, I don't get it. No, I think it's more that people are just, like, annoyed with it. Like, shut up, Tony. We're okay. Nobody cares. Stop trying to make drama. Because he's trying to just hard fuel tribalism. And why? There's so many wrestlers that are like, tribalism is stupid. We all want to succeed. And then here yeah. he is, like, trying to just force it as hard as he can. And it's not making them look like they're a direct competitor. It's making them look like TNA used to where he's trying to just desperately look like he's the best second option. I it think, looks like they're desperately clawing at something that they can't get. I think the best the best thing they can do is just to... Because I, I think, and I could be wrong, I think Tony Khan wasn't cutting an Eric Bischoff, Vince McMahon, um, Paul Heyman promo. I think he was retaliating. Like, you know, you know that one kid that's like, I've had enough! I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. Here you go. And then that's it. I, I mean, I, like this billionaire son was scrolling down Twitter and just looking at his feed and saw a random guy say, I can't believe Hook's getting a tighter shot. And, and that's it. Like, he just I see, oh, the, Yeah. And he just, that's when he's like, but yet nobody's saying this about WWE's gender Mahalo. Yeah. Uh, here, like, here, here's uh, my thing. I actually did see people bitching about Jinder Mahal, though. I, just like Vince McMahon, just like Triple H, just like Paul Heyman, they changed because people are kind of softer and they worship corporations. So it's a little different. And here's my test. Here's my test, okay? I, I think me and Raccoon, we, we might argue if it's Tony's fault, not Tony's fault. Yeah, Tony, out of line, not out of line. I think we, we're, we're not on the same fence. I think we can all agree it's not Jinder's fault. So let's take Jinder off the, let's take Jinder off the uh, cutting block, if you will. Um, good job, Jinder. Get out of here. Yeah. Now, look into the camera. Look into my eyes. This is probably your fault. You're like, how could my it be? My fault? Not your fault. Well, maybe. We'll find out. Let's see if they check mark. People, and I've said this before. Let me get my little rant. <clears throat> if you're always positive, your voice doesn't matter. If you're always negative, your voice doesn't matter. If you only defend one company, your voice doesn't matter. Hmm. What is the positive guy going to say? <gasps> was it good? Let me fake a reaction. Oh my, it was so good. What's the negative guy going to say? Everything that didn't hire me is bad. Brrr, everything is bad. Brrr. What's the one guy going to say? Uh, uh, the corporate... Uh, wah, wah. Can we say that for instead of... You look at that. I'll make my own censorship. YouTube, no need to thank me, Mr. Google. No need to thank me. You know what I was going to say. There's no purpose for these voices. They don't exist. And here's the thing. You're like, Dave, but maybe it wasn't me. Sid's light is like, maybe it wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. We have proof in the pudding. In a At no point have span. I encouraged his behavior. One week span. We're, 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 on, we're on to it. This is it. If one week ago, when Jinder showed up to no pop at all, 
And everyone got on the clickety clackety Twitter machine and said, he's the worst fucking human being ever. And now you love him? You stand for nothing! You have no standards. Do you know standards? None. None. You're a piece of shit. That's all I'm saying. Now, a lot of times, people change their mind through a course, you know? Here's an example, you know, for me. I was not a big fan of Jay White, but I think he improved. I wasn't a big fan of Jake Lee, but I think he improved. But it was over time. Jinder Mahal hasn't done anything this week. The modern day Maharaja you, has done a lot of great things. If you, one week ago... He's been ago, very funny on Twitter. Oh, he's hilarious. If you, one week ago, before this billionaire son said anything, said, oh God, it's Jinder, and then popped for The Rock... And then this week, you love Jinder. You have no standards. 3MB. 3MB. 3MB was over like a son of a goose. But that's the thing. If your favorite wrestler leaves your company and then you hate them, you have no standards. If one company just... is absolutely awesome at everything, you have no standards. If one company is horrible at everything, you have no standards. And a lot of times you're like, old man Coco, you're too mean. Jinder's the perfect example. So if you see a piece of shit on the social media machine and he hasn't changed his mind in a long period of time, Jinder Mahal has exposed you all. Exposed you all. Yeah, but I see for me, I, it's more, I don't really care about the gender aspect. I'm just tired of the Tony Khan equivalent of standing outside of the stadium, holding up a paper with his card on it, screaming, look at my card. Look at it. It's look better. At it. Look at it. It's I mean, he's like, got to He's got to promote but, it. Yeah, he's but there's... I mean, like, what, what, about, what about Paul Heyman? You have people on your pa 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 Paul, roster, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, you know, ECW. Paul Heyman, ECW. Hmm? That's a different time. Right now, you have <laughs> massive amounts of wrestlers saying that they don't want tribalism, that they all want to see each other succeed. They want people to just be like, Pro wrestling is good. And instead, we have this uh, nut hold on, job hold on, hold over on. here screaming to the sky about it. Hold on. That's until they get their own podcasts. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then then everything they, changes. You need that, they, you need that Papa H money. Advertisers. You need that Papa H money. <laughs> I mean, we're not talking about like Booker T, who's oh, obviously man. on one side. or Look at But him. there's a ton of them who are like anti tribalism, but yet we've got, you know, one of the main well, guys being. Hey, tribalism, tribalism, tribalism. Who's like, come on, dude. Whose podcast, whose podcast has ruined the reputation the most? Because I think JR's podcast, Stone Cold's podcast, I don't think they've ruined the reputation. Booker T's. Booker T. Ah, uh, no, no. Dudley. Bubba Ray. Bubba it's Ray. Bubba Ray. Yeah, yeah. It's Taz. Taz right ruined his reputation. No, Bubba Ray's in the lead. I got to say, it's, it's Bubba Ray, dude. You think Bubba, Bubba Ray? Bubba Ray, yeah. So, listen, it's all You didn't this quite know as much about Bubba Ray before the podcast. You knew Booker T was a sellout. When Booker T let that feud with Triple H fly and didn't say shit, oh, that was insane. Knew he, you knew he was the company man then. Yeah. But yeah, Bubba yeah. Ray, you didn't quite know he was an idiot yet. And then he's like, I'll show you. <laughs> Taz's podcast. <laughs> let's break in. Taz's podcast. Um, I, I, I once got my dick stuck in a toaster. And um, yeah, that that's uh, that's 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 the fans' fault. How? Oh, stupid wrestling fans! I haven't paid taxes in twenty-seven years. Damn wrestling fans! <laughs> but some of the wrestling podcasts are great, though. Yeah, yeah. So the, the Swerve one's pretty good. But here's my thing: if you're all positive, we don't need you. If you're all negative, we don't need you. And if you defend one company, we don't need you. I I don't understand why that's a thing. And I think, I think gender, I think gender exposed a lot of people. I think gender exposed a lot of people. And for that, I love gender. <laughs> oh, this guy's the champ. He's so horrible. Oh man. I love him. Oh man. <laughs> Could you imagine if this is how any other industry works, could you imagine? Be like, oh man, I really liked Michael J. Fox, but when he left Family Matters, screw him. 
Where did you go? Are you not? Are you anti? I didn't want to be associated with what you were saying. I'm just saying it would be ridiculous. It would be ridiculous. Negative of Michael J. Fox, and I won't stand for. Well, yeah, but the example was it was horrendous. Horrendous, I tell you. Horrendous. I hope the next time you go to get a shot at the doctor, Mm -hmm. Michael J. Fox is the one giving it to you. Uh, You went a little too far, man. Think about it. Yeah, that's what you get. Listen, dude, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. If Khan can't make fun of Jinder, you can't make fun of Michael J. Fox. Oh, Why? not cool. Not cool. My mom's got Parkinson's. I'm, Actually, I'm, I'm allowed. I like cause the thing is, you can you can go after athletes. You can go after actors. You can't go after wrestlers. Like, they there's can. no other fan base. I mean, you can, but they would cry about it a Watch lot. Watch Tony Khan do it. To go, Next Tony, week. go, go, Tony, go. <laughs> Next week on Twitter, Tony Khan addresses. I don't know who yet. We'll see. We'll we'll find out. We'll find out. Maybe ah. it'll be us. Maybe he'll be like, I'm tired of this fat bastard and this raccoon piece of shit. Uh, podcaster, podcasters are, are, are like gold diggers. When they see big number, they interact. They don't see big number, they don't interact. We need big number to interact. Do you got it's you got big TNA. number? We need big number. Where's it's big TNA. number? <laughs> and then you can say anything. Speaking of saying anything. <laughs> 